Did you know that 75% of consumers would rather text customer support than correspond with them via phone or social media according to SMS comparison? And 90% of customers prefer text messages over direct phone calls. So it just goes to show that your customers want you to text them and aligning with what your customer desires are only enables customer success. I'm Jeff from Sales Message and I'm gonna show you four easy but effective ways to add simple text messages to your customer success workflows to make them work even better. Sales Message makes it super easy to text your customers and allows them to reply back. We call this two-way texting where you're having an actual conversation with your customer via text. With our texting platform, all texts are saved so that you can see the back and forth texting history that each customer's had with all of your team so that your team always knows exactly what's been discussed. So let's get into it. First up, let's look at a super important transition for any new customer, the handoff from the sales team to customer success. This is vital that this transition is smooth and makes the new customer feel well taken care of. When they do, they feel good about their decision to invest with your company and it gets some momentum started in their onboarding journey. HubSpot and Sales Message make this transition super easy for any new customer. Now that you've signed up a new customer and handed them over to customer success, you've probably got workflows that are triggered in HubSpot. That probably includes emails, updating contact records, and things like that. Let's make this process more personable so that the new customer gets a personal text message from their new customer success person. I'm just gonna set up a quick workflow to automate this so when a deal is closed, HubSpot fires off a text message from sales message welcoming the new customer. I'm just gonna send this out 10 minutes after the deal was closed. Then I'm gonna click on add an action and scroll down and select sales message. Select the phone number property that you wanna use as well as who do you want this text to come from. And now let's get into the message. This can be whatever you'd like it to be to convey the experience that you want new customers to have. We normally recommend around 160 characters or less to get the best response, but you can always make it longer if you need to because after all, this is a pretty important message. You could have an animated GIF of you waving or an image of the support team or something like that, whatever fits your vibe. Then I'll just click on save and I'm all done. Now, when a new deal gets closed, your usual workflow is triggered inside HubSpot, but now they're also gonna get a personal text message from their customer success agent so that they know what to expect next. In the last example, I mentioned onboarding flows. Every customer success team has an onboarding workflow to ensure new customers get onboarded easily and efficiently. You want your new customers to know their way around your product and know how to get help when they need it so they don't decide to leave without fully seeing the value your company offers. So let me show you how you can add texting to your onboarding workflows to make sure that your new customers have a great experience. One of the easiest ways is just adding a super simple welcome message at the beginning of your onboarding workflow. Maybe you introduce yourself if you'll be the contact owner, or maybe you just let them know that they can text this number back if they have any questions. So I'm just gonna add an action and then select sales message, and then I'll select send SMS. I'll pull in the phone number from the contact token, select which inbox I'd like to use and the number I want it to be from, and I'm just gonna write a short message just to let them know how to get help. Then I'm gonna click save, and now that's added to my onboarding workflow to make sure that they can contact me if they need me. Now let's talk user activation. The onboarding process can sometimes be overwhelming for certain products and services, especially if your new customer has a lot going on or they don't have somebody on their team to do all of this stuff for them. When that happens, you might get ghosted or you might see that they've stalled out on their progress and they have some overdue tasks that need to be completed. For example, booking a kickoff call or submitting some data your team needs to support them in their endeavors. When this happens, the easiest and fastest way to get in contact with them that they're sure to read and likely respond to is just sending them a quick text message reminder to finish their tasks. So let's take that kickoff call example. Let's say that maybe you have an automation that checks to see if they booked their call. And if they did, they get all of the required documentation to show up prepared to the call. If they didn't book their call, they get a text message reminder to go to the calendar and find a time. So let's just add in an if then branch for a booked call and didn't booked call. Then on the didn't booked call side, let's just add a simple text message to remind them. So I'll select sales message and then again, send SMS. And like before, I'm gonna add all of this information in here. Then I'm just gonna write a short message and include a link that they can click on to book their kickoff call. Let me even add an image here just to make it fun. Now I'm gonna just click save. And now when somebody meets this criteria of not booking their kickoff call, we'll send them a text message reminder. We can even get ahead of customer churn and proactively reach out to customers who are trending towards churning and walking away from your product or service altogether. You might be calculating and monitoring your customer's health scores in HubSpot or using a tool like Arrows or something like that in conjunction with HubSpot to trigger various workflows. 
Let's say we know a customer's health score is yellow or red, meaning they're likely to churn or leave the product or service. If we can get ahead of that score change and contact the customer before that happens, imagine what that would do to your churn numbers. But if you can't get them to talk to you, you can't save them. And the easiest way to get them on the phone is through a quick text message. Texts have a 45% response rate, so it's so much easier to reach them than just emailing or calling them where they're also not likely to pick up an unknown number or answer a bunch of emails. A simple text message is a great way to open that conversation and check in with them to address any concerns, handle any onboarding items that didn't get completed, give them tips on things that they're stuck on, and so on. And the best part is, this is all being automated so you won't forget to reach out to them. So all you need to do is set up a very simple workflow or add a text into your existing workflows in HubSpot. I'm gonna set this up exactly the same as the previous examples, and I'm just gonna get curious with my message to see if I can get them talking to me. At the very least, maybe I can save some people who are likely to churn. All right, so there are four really, really valuable ways your customer success team can be using texting to engage with your customers and have two-way conversations with them. Sales message integrates natively with HubSpot and for the most part does everything you need it to do from right within your HubSpot account. Take advantage of our 14 day free trial and start texting with your customers. See for yourself how easy and effective it can be. Thanks for watching.